Uh, thank you so much, JJ, back in studio, and indeed we're still at Parliament Buildings, uh, and uh, very quickly now we're joined by one of the uh, most famous uh, technocrats we have here in Nairobi, and he's also gunning for the top seat here in Nairobi, the governor seat. Uh, we are talking about Polycap Igade, who also had his chance, and many years uh, he had the tutorage of uh, the president himself, President Mwai Kibaki, but let him walk us through his memories with the former president. Karibu sana. Thank you very much for having me this morning and I condole with the rest of Kenya. I especially would like to send my condolences to Judy, to Jimmy, to David Kagai and to, to Tony Gedenji for the loss of the, their father. Um, we have all lost a father. This was a great tree in the Republic of Kenya that provided shade to all of us. Alikuwa mze wetu, alikuwa raisu wetu, na alikuwa baba yetu. I interacted with Kibaki many times as a member of Kenya Private Sector Alliance, as a director of the Kenya Private Sector Alliance during presidential roundtables. I interacted with him, especially one-on-one, -on -one, one time at Starehe Boy Center, um, where he was one of, he's a great believer in Starehe Boy Center. And he was very impressed that uh, uh, we were participating there. Then I was the managing director of Evo Energy Shell, and Shell is a big sponsor of Starehe Boy Center. And he explained to me the history of politics in Nairobi, Operation Jack Scott, when local population and local businessmen uh, were sent away and children were left without parents uh, because their parents had gone to jail. And he explained to me the essence of that. And he, he, I remember his words on that day, he said, thank you for continuing to keep alive hope. Uh, and you should never give up hope. You should never give in to despair. And uh, for me personally, Kibaki was an inspiration. I also met him back in 1993. That is the first time I interacted with him, really, when I was a student leader at the University of Nairobi. I was the national chairman or president of the International Association of Students Interested in Economics and Business Management, ISEC. And he came to address us. And I was really impressed by his credentials. And I studied economics very hard to emulate President Kibaki. Over the years, we became really good friends. Um, uh, and we would interact once in a while. Uh, then I used to try and play golf. I'm not a golfer anymore. And I also interacted with him on the golf course once in a while. And I remember he had a good sense of humor when he would make a joke and say, Chairman. Then we would call him Chairman because he was Chairman of the Democratic Party. And his ball would go to the bush. Yes. And I remember he would come out of the bush saying, uh, This ball does not respect chairmanship. You know? And he had a great sense of humor. He was a humble man. He was not into gossip. He, he believed gossip was terrorism, uh, and uh, he didn't have any small talk. He was focused, and I think he's, uh, we owe it to him to make sure we don't disappoint. We owe it to him, some of us who are canvassing for votes uh, and asking that, prom making big promises as we are being told on the circuit, to make sure that our promises, we deliver on our promises. And Kenya will never be the same again, because once upon a time, Moai Kibaki was president of Kenya. I'm very proud. And I'm also sad that we have lost him, but uh, it is what it is. So at the campaigns in Nairobi and a bit of a go slow and t to respect uh, the spirit, to respect President Kibaki, to see him off. Um, and as a father, I will of course be there in Odaya uh, to see uh, that we give him a decent burial together with all leaders of Nairobi. And, and, and indeed, uh, looking at uh, 2022, we are, we are having the succession politics and uh, looking at Kibaki, he was a soft-spoken politician, but he was able to do a lot in Kenya. What lessons you're also seeking a top seat here in Nairobi, what lessons can we get from Zen? I think the biggest one is that Kibaki was an impact politician. He wanted to achieve social impact, economic impact, and political impact. He was not a commercial politician. We have two segments of politicians, the commercial ones who come to make money, and the impact ones. Kibaki was truly an impact politician. And I think uh, that is the footsteps I would like to follow, to come in for impact, not come in for my back pocket. And he kept on saying one of his biggest quotes is, leadership is about service. It's not about self-enrichment. And uh, that is really my inspiration. And I'm really honored to be here on the footsteps of the great assembly of the people of Kenya at Parliament Building in Nairobi to pay my respects to this great man.
Yes, and also you are able to interact with Kibaki on uh, on, on continental showpiece uh, because he was a Pan-African leader. What lessons has he left for Africa? That go placidly amid the noise and haste and remember what peace there is in silence. Do your thing. That is desiderata. Nobody was better in that uh, than President Kibaki. And he raised a good family. He was a good friend. He brought competence to government. He was the best public service manager. Uh, him with De David Miraria, what they did to our economy is amazing. So myself and my deputy governor, who's also here with me, uh, Professor Kaloki, we are, we are very committed uh, to serving Nairobi the way Kibaki served Kenya. He, we will emulate him, and uh, we hope um, our children will say, surely the inspiration of Kibaki, we can see it in the five years you have served Nairobians after we are elected. And thank you very much uh, for, for, for listening to me, and I would like many other people to read the story of Kibaki. Uh, for me, for those who know me, even at university in the 1992, uh, I had a friend who used to say, Polycap, you're not only a fan of Kibaki, you're a fanatic, because I was a young Democrat. And I still remember as a young Democrat, then I joined the Democratic Party, it was the first party I ever joined in 1992. We used to say, Toka Gizani, come out of the darkness. Kibaki was a politician of light. He enlightened. He did not generate heat. We need more of those, people who bring light, not people who generate heat. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much indeed. Uh,